Hi Kisses and welcome back to New Number to Eat. I am super excited. Today I am having Dungeness Crab. I'm just gonna put everything out here on the table. Oh my God, let's get all that sauce in there. Ooh, I got sauce on my pants too. There is so much yummy goodness on this table right now. Quick prayer. Amen. I am at the boiling crab. I have to come back. I'm going to start with some rice and some sausage. Oh. I've been waiting for this meal, let me tell you. Little baby. You guys, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let's get to eating. Uh. I've been waiting for this meal all day. Oh my god, no. Mmm! It's really loud in here, it's a full house. Last time I was here, you guys told me to take the lime and squeeze it into the salt and pepper. I love the fact that you guys give me tips and tricks on how to eat it better. So keep telling me, because I need to know. They said dip it in that. You guys, so... Vegas has been pretty amazing to me. Believe it or not, it's been... I've been here for a while now. And I think I'm just now, just barely now, starting to get the hang of Vegas. This is a Dungeness Crab Leg. Where are all my... Question is, where are all the legs of my crab? Dip it in that. Oh, that's good. That was a good idea. Mm. Thumbnails came in handy. I am in no rush. This is going to be a nice long video. Okay. Let's get into it. And let's do it, do it. I got a little date later on. Gonna go out for some drinks. Nothing serious. Just hanging out. Mm. I love seafood. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 give me that garlic. I don't plan on kissing anybody later, so give me that garlic. Mm. Half my legs are missing. Oh yeah. 
I love the bustle and hustle of this restaurant. They are slammed, okay? People come here in groups. I think I'm the only one that came by myself. Mm. This is by far my favorite type of crab. It's sweet, the meat is sweet. So good. You know what's good when you have nothing to say. I'm <laughs> nothing to say. I'm ready to eat this. It's so funny because I used to be so against moving to Vegas. And now I'm like, what took me so long to come here? I'm really liking Vegas. Shoot. Stop playing. Vegas? And maybe it's because I'm not a local, you know what I mean? I'm sure locals are like over it, but I love it. Once I decided to do my Las Vegas food tour, so I'm breaking into my new uh, era. You guys know that I want to travel the world and I want to trace different foods and go to different restaurants. And I'm like, you know what, baby? We're starting with Las Vegas. Food tour Las Vegas. I've been tasting all kind of restaurants. I'm going into places that I would never even think about going to. I am definitely 100% expanding my palate. nice right there mm. that was a good idea thank you guys that was a really good idea what I mean I think you guys had told me that before but I forgot so thank you for reminding me yes <laughs> get all that Wow, I'm so happy. I cannot believe I'm eating my favorite crab. Oh yeah. Let's get to the heart of the matter. So I'm really thinking about restarting my podcast, guys. I want to talk about relationships. I want to talk about... Things that have to do with human nature, you know, like people. Ooh, y'all ready? Look at, oh my God. Look at that. I don't want to spill it. I love that stuff in here. That's so good. I don't even know what that is, but this is good. Oh my God. Look at that. That is one meaty baby right there, okay? Okay? 
Some people hate eating crab because they don't really understand it. Me, I love eating crab. That's the back piece right there. You want to take that right out. I don't know, everybody eats crab differently. And then I take it. This is all meaty, by the way. You can eat all this. Well, at least I do. I don't know about anybody else. I suck all the flavor out of that. Um, I don't eat the hair. It looks like little eyelashes. <laughs> Break that right there. <gasps> the inside, oh my God. how beautiful that is oh my god how can you not love that oh. take that and break it right in half <laughs> just like that still hot oh yeah this is the good life baby <laughs> I was ever stranded in an island I would survive I love seafood mm. oh yeah that's not good stuff Life is truly what you make it, you hear me? And every day I make my life wonderful. <laughs> have you guys ever have you guys ever thought about doing that? Like having like a food tour, like where you live, like if you're from Detroit or whatever, Michigan, Ohio, wherever. Tour all the different restaurants that you never even thought about going to. When I tell you that I'm stepping into places that I would have never even thought about stepping into, I feel like I'm in an adventure every single day. I'm like, ooh, what can I try today? I'm all over Las Vegas. All over. I'm meeting so many people. That is so good. Look at all that meat came out. I don't know, but I just love eating alone. Is that weird? I could do this all day, all day. <laughs> Baby, sit me next to a, a beach with some cold water and a nice cold drink. Coconut water with that. Oh. Seafood, all that. Look at that. I cleaned that right out. That's when you know you know how to eat crab. That's how you do it. You gotta get all the way up in it, okay? You gotta get it. You gotta be patient, it's worth it. Awesome. 
This is the part that people don't like, and this is the part that I love the most. <laughs> All those little morsels. Love it. Uh, oh. That is just simply one dirt ball. <laughs> I don't understand. What's my obsession with seafood? Can anybody tell me? Yo. You will not believe if I told you how small Las Vegas is. You just wouldn't believe me if I told you how small this place is. It's almost like everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows everybody. Yesterday, I was doing an ED show and there was a guy that was sitting at a bar. Let's just say you don't know how small Vegas is. I was like, very small place. You never know who you're sitting next to. Never know. Everything's perfect. Thank you so much. Really good. People just be talking out here. And I'm sitting right next to them. And I'm like, well, not right next to them, but I can hear the conversation. Small world. When they start talking about people you know, and the people talking don't even know you know them, I'm like, yeah, let me just sit right here and pay attention to what they're saying. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a small world out here. Gotcha, Vegas. I got you, Vegas. I see how small you really are. You are real small. Oh. I met a realtor and I was like, oh, really? Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> oh, I do realty, really? Huh. You don't say. You don't say. It's my world. Wow, every single piece of this was absolutely worth it. Every single piece of this crab. Thank you universe for this amazing animal. Oh. Amazing. Oh my God, I'm almost done, I'm so sad. I'm, that's why I'm slowing down. Oh my God, 
so I was talking to my ex-boyfriend, Patrick Blackwood, right? He lives in Atlanta. And he sent me some um, some acting reels that he was working on. I was shocked. The dude is a really good actor. I'm like, yo, you are really good at this. He's like, thank you. He was really good at it. Really good. I was surprised. I was surprised. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, whoa, buddy. You were talented. He's like, thank you. It seemed real. It seemed genuine. Oh my goodness, guys. I was in. Look at that. Gone. Oh my God. That was so worth it. That was so worth it. And I think my belly is satisfied. I think my belly is satisfied. Mm. I love this place. That was so satisfying. I don't think you really understand. That was so satisfying. Or did not spicy this time. I made a mess on my table. Mm. You guys, some um, words of encouragement. If you stay to the end of this video, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up. If you stay to the end, I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment. Quick things that I've learned living in Las Vegas. Number one, Vegas is very small. Number two, everybody knows everybody. Number three, when I first came here, I thought that I would be like really sad and miserable and unhappy and just, you know, kind of. Yes, thank you so much. I got you. Perfect, perfect. Um, you kind of wonder, you know, how you're gonna feel, you don't know. And I think one of the best moves that I made was coming to uh, Las Vegas. Not only did I learn a lot about myself, as many of you may know by now, excuse me, my dog Loyal and my cat Hunter live in Atlanta, Georgia with my ex-boyfriend Patrick Blackwood. And that's because my son is allergic to dogs. And I never knew if I was gonna get a chance to see him or not. You just never know. And I didn't want the house to be filled with dog hair. And I was like, damn. So as much as I miss my dog and my cat, you know, you just gotta take precautions because you never know where the future is going to take you right so I always keep that in mind I always keep my son in my mind so at first I thought I was going to be sad but now it's like I'm grateful that I came here I'm learning so much about myself because I don't have my dog or my cat as emotional support I don't have my ex-boyfriend it's just me by myself and I'm just like wow I realized that I'm a very strong, hyper-independent female, and I discovered this side of myself through various points of pain and hurt, a lot of self-growth. I'm not perfect by any means, but every day I try to be better, I strive to be better, I work on myself every day, um, and that's all I can do. So I realized that all I can do is all that I can do, so I'm doing all that I can because that's all that I can do. Does that make sense? I say all that to say this. Dreams do come true. Live and love your life. 
You have one life to live. Don't put your life on hold for any reason. Don't put your life on hold for money, work, friends, family. You know, just don't put your life on hold. You never know. You never know where life is going to take you. And as long as you don't give up, you're going to have another opportunity to make things right or to feel better or to feel accomplished or to do better. All you got to do is not give up. And by not giving up, I mean, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on what you believe in. Don't give up on your dreams. Just because somebody else doesn't see what you see, they weren't meant to. They don't have your eyes. They don't have your vision. Remember to put yourself first. Love on yourself. It's okay to be happy. It's okay to be happy. I learned that. It's okay to be happy. And I used to struggle with that. I used to honestly struggle with that. I didn't know that it was okay to be happy. I wouldn't give myself the permission that I needed to be happy. Sometimes you just gotta give yourself permission to let go and let God. Let go. And keep yourself in a headspace of strength, positivity, constant growth. Man, constant growth is like magic. It's literally like magic. So that's what I believe in. Constant growth, self-development, and self-improvement. Meditation is key. And set your boundaries high. Set your boundaries very, very high. Protect yourself because no one in this world is coming to protect you. No one will protect you better than you can protect yourself. I promise you that. Look inward. Everything you have to be the best version of yourself is already inside of you. Trust what I'm telling you. Don't ever stop believing in yourself. Trust yourself and be kind to yourself. Stay positive, stay strong, and until next time, bye guys.